Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's my... Oh, that's cute. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm sure champ... Uh, Thank you, Sedge, for uh, yeah. joining the 2GK. Of course, yeah. 18 <laughs> months. Here we go. <laughs> All right, we're going to get this next match underway. Fred Burger getting some of the last-minute coaching in on his phone right now. Vibes just, uh, you know, feeling, feeling the vibe of the uh, room. Looks like we're getting ready to go here. California rule set? Where are we going to go? Where are we striking to? PS2? Old Faithful? The new Smashville? Basically, man. Yeah. <laughs> About time, man. Just uh, since 2008, Smashville was the thing, and now uh, it's, it's, it, was, it was 2018. It's 2019 now. It's time for a new decade, a new stage as a starter. <laughs> and of course, Halloran, thank you for the sub. I don't know if it's Twitch Prime or whatever, but of course we always appreciate the support as well. You guys, be sure to sub to 2G Gaming. Johnny Westside, Johnny Westside the with snake. the sub <laughs> as well. Thank you so much, guys. Starting the sub trend right now. Yeah. Let's get the sub trend going, even with the match going on. Be sure to sub to 2G Gaming. Help support them and help create these great events for you guys. It looks like, oh, Dreamcatcher Gaming with the... With the, with the sub too. Shout out to you guys. And we're going to get this underway right away. Trevor Burger vibes. They are playing their yeah, Smash 4 mains. He's uh, one of the one of the, the few. The few remaining sticking with that Meta Knight. And few and the proud, man. <laughs> but of course, and Captain Falcon, you know. People that main Captain Falcon typically just, they main Captain Falcon. That just, that's just is what it is. Yeah, but how many Falcon mains are there really? Like, <laughs> not, not too many of them anymore. And I think both these characters are just like going to be looking for that one opening to get the wheels turning and then they can lay on the punishment game as hard as they can. Yeah. I think the hardest part about Captain Falcon is that before in Smash 4, if you did a dash grab, you still continue momentum after the downside yeah. animation. But Captain Falcon in this game kind of just stopped in this place and that makes it difficult. That's what, That was how down throw knew it was possible if you down, uh, DI'd in. Uh -huh. But uh, they definitely took that one out, so unfortunately not going to be able to find that. But you're going to be able to find that back air off stage. Three hits and you're out. Off, all the way off stage. Yeah, very, very good edge guard situation. All right, how does he punish here? He goes for the forward tilt. All right. Uh, yeah, Captain Falcon's hoping to get the stock off. If your if your opponent has a relatively good recovery, it's kind of hard to actually get around or get a kill with Captain Falcon. I feel like you just kind of have to look for a bear or something. But of course, if you're slippery like Meta Knight, it might be a little bit difficult. It's kind of got that uh, that melee march syndrome going on, where he's got to find that rogue uh, that rogue kid if he's not able to combo from the early percentages. Exactly. Alrighty. Uh oh. We got him out of the classic. Okay, lets him out of that situation. Probably didn't have quite enough to carry him off the top. Yeah, but still went for the air dodge into the back air. Still a very optimal situation to go with. And Ben and I still continuing the train with that uh, extension. Didn't quite get the Maybe a panic mock yeah. tornado and Captain Falcon able to close it out with back here. Yeah, I tried to get a good read off of that uh, mock tornado. It didn't just quite work out. I feel like if he just ran off there, it would have put him in a semi spike angle and it would have made it harder for Captain Falcon to make it back to the stage anyway. I think he Oh, hurt. wow. What a read with the forward smash. Looking like uh, old school Tear Bear from uh, the Brawl days, not the Captain Falcon days. I think he heard me because he just started randomly <laughs> doing short hop dares, get that tech chase situation and get that forward smash like he was looking for. And back into neutral. It was just Fred Breaker trying to return to neutral. Actually, he was still in disadvantage state, but Vice was moving back and forth like he was playing in neutral still. Yeah. Oh, there's that knee that not so hard to get right there off that down air. Yep. Stop the yard to the uh, to the knee. Yep. Can't uh, can't tech those anymore, so you're just gonna have to hold that if he lands the, the knee on you. And this match is uh, a little closer than it felt like it, you know, as I I just kinda feel like vibes have been in control the uh, the entire time, but Fred Fred Burger's right there in striking distance. Yep. Closing the gap very quickly. Of course that Raptor boost, not a kill. Oh god, he's, oh, this he's probably might dead. Be trouble. Decided to play it safe that time around. I respect it. Yeah. You don't want to risk anything too crazy. But of course, the Captain Falcon, you gotta be careful if you let him get that momentum. It's uh, kinda scary actually. Yeah, they, both players had a little standoff right there staring at each other, not sure quite what to do in the platform situation. Of course, Vibes is kind of waiting there. He had the right read Ominously. on that uh, tech chase situation. Yeah. Didn't quite get the up air he needed. He's probably grumbling to himself a little bit. That would have worked in Smash 4. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Continuing 
on four, trying to get that momentum going. Oh, the Falcon Kick actually almost killed right there. He's got to be careful now on this ledge situation. One good back here, that'll be it. Tries to get oh, the upbeat Oh, he needed grab. to reverse it. Needed to reverse it. Yeah, I don't know if he was trying to read a roll or something, but that just didn't quite work out for him. And the Tornado's going to take him all the way off stage. Going to be able to seal out that first stock and put him in a good situation here for game two. Yeah, very covered all the options in Mock Tornado right there. Just not a, a whole lot other than waiting that Captain Falcon could do in that situation. Yep. Let's see what counter pick we're looking at. Smash it was a good stage for Falcon in Smash 4, but that was because of like Nair extensions you can do yeah. and because of the small space on the stage, Falcon could smother you. I don't know if that's going to be quite the case. Uh, <laughs> and especially with hazards yeah, off with the yeah. uh, platform. Exactly. I think with the down air being such a prevalent option in Captain Falcon for the punish game, it might be better to open up the platforms, but I think they went straight to Smash Bros. If I'm not mistaken, I think I saw that. Let's, let's see if I'm right. Yeah, yeah, there we go. All right, going to Smash Bros. Let's see how this goes down. Let's see, you know, sometimes people just get a feel for the stage that they, you know, really like. Uh, Interesting to see, because yeah, you're talking about those narrow extensions and things like that. A lot of that was predicated on the moving platform, you know, being available for that stuff to happen. And it's not so much in this stage, it's just the platform in the dead center. Oh, he goes for the Nair that time. I see what S2H does. He does like the air, uh, the up air strings. Oh my god, he got dared. Oh, but he's going to make it back to the stage. Great tech. Darn for vibes. But anyways, I, what I see them do is that they'll do upper, upper, upper to the mock tornado. Yeah. And the tornado actually sends them way off stage. It has way high base knockback for some reason. I yeah, know, it's uh, <laughs> trying to be more real to life, right? Tornadoes do uh, a little bit more knockback than they uh, than they would lead us to believe from this game. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're dead even right now. Oh, they did a full hop right there, but able to catch that air dodge and just miss the forward smash to clean it up. Yep. Guess the people's elbows or yeah, that animation looks more like the people's wrists now, but anyways. Still getting that extension with that Raptor boost. It doesn't uh, kill anymore, but it's a good combo extender, and it has uh, armor uh, instead. So that's the trade-off you get. And he finally got one of those Nair ones and followed it up with the uh, up air. And now he's, you know, but this might be a situation where Vibes is able to make make up some ground because after, as we were saying, uh, instead he gets back here. I was gonna say if he was gonna make a run at it, that would have been the time. Yeah. But again, this is Falcon we're talking about. He can take stocks early, and then he can lose stocks early. Right. So we're going to have to see how it goes. Like, two good dares off stage, take out his jump. He's dead for it. Looks like for the raw floor there. Looks like Fred Fred Burger's not going to be able to allow him to get that opportunity, though. Great neutral game coming from him. But the bad Falcon kick startup going to be get caught by that. But Vibes a little bit uh, scared. Tries to go for the Tornado, but it doesn't quite work out for his edge guard situation. Yeah, it's kind of a whole new game for Fred Burger from Go. It's just uh, putting on damage nonstop and didn't get the uh, didn't get the kill there, but Vibes in quite a bit of trouble in this game. Oh, trying to find the all out, but going to be able to tech onto the stage just fine. It got greedy there. He's going for another another uh, Raptor boost. <laughs> oh, oh that's should do it. Oh, I thought he was going to get it back here with the rare. Yeah, that, that, that sucks. I don't know what happened there. Oh, okay, the Tornado uh, Today I learned it's a <laughs> Tornado beats uh, Falcon, Falcon, Falcon kick. Falcon a bad move, man. <laughs> like, I don't know what's up with that move. Why, I don't know why he's still in the game. There's the back air. Very clean game. A very convincing win on that uh, second game by Fred Fredberger. Did you ever watch Billy and Mandy? No. No? Do I need to? Well, that's what Fred Fred Burger's from. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I was going to make a joke on everyone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the stream, I'm sure, will appreciate it, but uh, I'm going to be like, what? <laughs> uh, are we going back to Smashville, Salty Runbacks? Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> he kind of got he kind of got wrecked on he that might. stage. Okay. He got, he got rocked really hard yeah, on that I stage. Yeah, I'm going to say. Oh, vibes no. knows something that we don't. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna wager on that. I think Vibes knows something about the game that we don't. He's gonna pull he's out. Gonna back. He's gonna pull out the secret <laughs> weapon right now. And here we go. All right, that's a good start. Direction on air dodge. Gonna catch another neutral get up with that grab. Great stuff so far. Finally gonna get caught by that get up attack though on his landing. And for all that work, uh, Fred Fred Burger just tied it up like with two hits. <laughs> Curse of the Meta Knight, man, right? You do so much work, so much damage, but it seems like the moves just don't do a whole lot. Yeah, if you gave Meta Knight an actual sword rather than a toothpick, maybe he would be able to do some more damage, but as of right now, <laughs> it's not quite going to happen. Ooh, wow, Dare? Uh, out of the jump, just be able to put Yeah, him put him in that weird position. And, yeah. yeah. 
Fredford Fred Burger's restored order though, and he's now building himself a little bit of a lead. Oh, great recovery. He waited till the very end to angle up towards the stage. That way, he would be able to go recover without getting heal of Shane. But a down smash at the stage will be able to seal at the stock too. And so far, that counter pick's not working quite like we had, he had hoped. Uh, might have done better by going to a different stage, but you know, it's a weekly. Sometimes there's something to be said about adapting to the situation. Right. And he's got to make some new adaptations because Frederick Burger is uh, just continuing the momentum where he left off last game. Yeah, that Falcon Kick, I mean, if you're not ready for it, it's a really good zone breaker. Just be able to get something going. Try to go for another down smash, but the dimensional cape's still not enough, though. Well, that's an interesting fake that he was going off to the, uh, off to the ledge. Oh, I think he was actually dead if he didn't let himself get grabbed by it. But because he did, he's going to face potentially another three to one stock situation with that gentleman right there at the very edge of the stage. And uh, Fred Fredberger running away with this one. This is what I'm talking about. You, <laughs> you went to a small stage with Cannon Falcon. That's not going to be uh, too great, especially with his burst of speed. He's going to be able to zone break you very easily. That Cannon Falcon kick covers so much of the actual stage compared to Pokemon Stadium where you won on. That's like the uh, second commandment of Smash. Uh, don't let the Captain Falcon get momentum. Oh man, is that gonna? Uh, I was like, no, is no, that no, gonna no, kill? No, no, no. That zoom in camera thing's useless. It doesn't. It doesn't actually tell you when they're dead or not. It's like the red lightning. But down throw the up air. Try to get the up B afterwards, and he's gonna SD his stock because of it. One ten <laughs> damage though onto Vibes. I don't think that's gonna be too hard to bring back, especially with the way Meta Knight likes to approach there that into the right. up air. Oh, not quite. I told you, man. It's it's useless. <laughs> I just thought the up air was gonna have enough pop to take that one out. So. Oh, there we go. If that, if that didn't do it, I don't know. Yeah. What, what. Uh,